All right, how you guys doing today? This is Mr. Muscarella coming at you, and today I'm going to show you how to reflect an image over the line y equals x. Now, a couple things first. Before we even get into this, I just want to kind of recharge your brain. The line y equals x is going to be a line that's slanted like this. And there's one other key important characteristic about that line. It's going to pass through the origin. But we'll talk about that in a minute. First, time for a little magic trick. I want to see if you can study this pattern and determine what happens to the x and y coordinates. Check it out. You've got e and then e prime. Notice what happens to the x and y coordinates. Think you got it? Let's try another one. How about v and v prime? Does your pattern hold up? I bet it probably does. What about now? One more point, and let's see. Was it true? Did you notice what happens to the x and y coordinates? Hopefully, you see that the x and y coordinates, they just switch places. That's it. There's nothing complicated about that. So when you take a look at these kinds of drawings, and you're being reflected around the line y equals x, all you're going to do is switch places for the x and y coordinates. So now we're going to introduce the picture piece of it, but we've already figured out like, hey, all that you have to do is switch the x and y coordinates. So when you go ahead and draw this, now the line y equals x, you're going to go ahead and plot that line. So y equals x, remember, it goes through the origin. It has a slope of 1 and a y-intercept of 0. So I can plot this line, y equals x, right there. And then I'll go ahead and draw my line y equals x. Now using the coordinates that I have, e prime is at negative 1, 2, so that's going to be up here. v prime is going to be at 1, 5, I prime is going to be at 0, 5, and P prime is going to be over at negative 3, 2. So that's all there is to graphing the image of a given reflection over the line y equals x, but make sure that you just take a look at what the coordinates are, and then you'll know all you need to do is switch them around. Once you've got them switched, then go back and plot the picture. Now let's take a look at one other example. Same thing. Here's triangle STQ. Now, I don't want you to get hung up so much on the picture right now. What I want you to do is just go ahead and list the coordinates for S, then T, then Q. Then, list the coordinates for S prime, T prime, and Q prime. Go ahead and do that now real quickly. Pretty straightforward, huh? No big deal. Now, get after it. Go ahead and plot S prime, T prime, and Q prime. But be sure you draw in your line Y equals X as well. Label it each one of your points appropriately. All right, so how'd you do with that? Pretty straightforward stuff, I guess. But if you want one more, just for giggles, you can go ahead and try this one here. Graph this image of the given reflection over the line y equals x. So again, list the coordinates for i, v, y. Then list the coordinates for i prime, v prime, and y prime. Graph them, and be sure you graph the line y equals x. When you're done, come on back and make sure you got this one right just as well. So, how'd you do with this one? Hopefully, you hit this one out of the park too, and by now, graphing images over a line y equals x is pretty straightforward stuff for you. So, that's it for this video. Thanks so much for watching, and you guys have a great day. I'll catch up with you soon. Peace out.